Friends, you never know who you'll touch in life. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. My faith helps me understand that circumstances don't dictate my happiness or my inner peace. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. You have to be who you are in this world, no matter what. At the end of the day, my friends, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who have you lifted up? Who have you made better? It's about what you've given back to those people. I think, personally, a role model is a mentor, someone who you see on a daily basis and you learn from them. My faith taught me how to forgive. Faith taught me when people present themselves in a certain way, there's probably some backstory or issue or reason for the way that they are acting. It's not you, my friends. It's them. And a lot of times, it's about something that's completely out of their control. Put God first. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. <clears throat> I've kept God in my life and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him, but he always stuck with me. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. And understand, to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. It's not how much you have in life. It's about what you do with what you have. It, that's where the success is in helping others. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. My advice is this, and it's simple. Don't just aspire to make a living. Friends, aspire to make a difference. And may God bless each and every one of you. And take good care. Bye-bye now. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, an author, and the host of this show, The Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. Friends, I heard a sermon at church about God's promise of strength for daily living. The main verses, the messages was based on were Philippians 4, 10 through 13. Christians have a contentment so long as they hold to Christ for everything knowing that nothing can separate us from the love of God gives us the ability to not be discontented by our circumstances. I am reminded of Romans 8, 38 through 39. However, in a way, we should never be content. We sell ourselves short if we become complacent. We should always be longing to have a closer relationship with God and eager to do more good for others in the name of Jesus Christ on a daily basis. This opportunity is a privilege, my friends, the sort of discontentment that motivates us not to miss this opportunity is different from discontentment that results from negative circumstances. It is a source of joy because uh, though we uh, where the lowest of the low, God has chosen us to be his children and called us to be involved in his holy work in Ephesians 2, 10. Friends, it's a glorious day today. Be content, but be content for the right reasons. Call me at 844 help Together, you and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to anyone can change their day, change their life, can make a difference in your life. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only son. How many of us parents and grandparents will say the same thing, to do that for our children and grandchildren? We wouldn't. But God did it for us to save humanity. Remember that, and God loves you. Take good care. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow.